Hi everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Antis Cummins and I'm a historical researcher and author. And today I'm gonna to talk you through how Japanese people change that paper on those crazy Japanese sliding doors. But each of my videos is done to support one of my books. So if you'd like to support me, please get Old Japan. It's by me, Anthony Cummins. And basically it's secrets from the shores of the samurai. And it's got lots of little bits of information in. So do grab a copy of that. So, right, I have been to Japan many, many times and um, I've lived there. And I've got a friend called Miyako from the Koizumi family. Well, actually, they're the Kajita family. And they kindly sent me some pictures of them changing over their um, the paper on the sliding doors. Okay, these are called shoji doors, basically. And uh, the paper they put on is called shoji gami or shoji kami, which is paper for sliding door. These are normally your sort of... They're ones that let light in. There's other ones that are solid. Uh, on the outside and they basically stop storms coming in you then get the inner ones the shoji which are for letting the light in and then you get internal ones which are called for suma and they actually shut off the areas so that you can sort of have a bit of privacy so first of all what do they do basically you can take the frames out like that boom and you just heat them up uh, or wet them, spray them with warm water and they peel off the glue peels off and you can take the old paper away What you need to do is buy this. That is the paper for the doors. It comes ready there. It's got little adhesive sections on for when you put it on. Your next step is, of course, is to lay it over the frame and you will then steam it with an iron uh, with, so, so with steam and it makes the glue stick to the wooden frame. After this, you would then obviously let it let it set a little bit um, and, and put an iron over it. Then once the iron has come off, you can use a ruler, cut off the edges of the paper. You then spray it to get it wet again. You put it into the you you put it into the actual framework and make sure it's still wet, sprayed, things like that. And then you await for it to dry. Once it's dried, you've got the lovely finished product. So there you go. Right, guys, so the Japanese do this to get clean paper on their doors. They don't, re they don't replace the frameworks unless they're broken. So literally, you're just going to take off the adhesive, like underneath, you're going to make it warm to peel it off. Obviously, scrub it down, clean it. You've then got paper that you put on. This is very similar to how they used to do it in Japan, where they'd, I suppose they'd have to do it on the actual framework with glue and everything. But this is the modern way that they do it in modern Japanese families to this day. So when me and you are vacuuming or, you know, doing our spring cleaning, then uh, the Japanese are ironing their doors. Crazy. Right, if you enjoyed that and you want to know more about Japan, this is a very easy read, guys. Old Japan, Secrets from the Shores of the Samurai. Very easy to understand. Lovely little illustrated book by Jay Kane with lots of information about the samurai things, the samurai way and old Japanese tales. Right, guys, thank you very much.